Hey guys, it's Barrett from the Gimping Camper. I just wanted to share an idea that I had with you guys. This is a group project. This is a group project from a conglomeration of about 400 channels. I don't know how many people are actually going to participate in this, but I have a Facebook group called Camping YouTube Community Support. And in that Facebook group, basically what we do is we just share our videos there and ask questions and try to help each other out. We have channels of all sizes there. But this is a project for that group. What my idea was, was to do like a group homework assignment and just basically tell you in our local area, everybody in this group, kind of just what's so great about camping in our specific geographical area. And so we're going to use one campground in particular in each video. And we're going to do a separate section on like boondocking or dry camping. So this is just going to be like, what we generally like about camping in our area in one electrical RV hookup site that we prefer if we're going to go that route. So as a lot of you know, I'm here in Southeast Tennessee, right on the border of North Georgia, North Carolina, and we're at Okoye, Tennessee right now. And we're in a place called Chilhowee Recreation Area. They have a campground here. You reserve it through recreation.gov. There is so much to do up here. I love it. This has always been one of my favorite local areas since I was a kid. There's a two and a half mile hike to Benton Falls. That's an easy hike. There's hiking trails all over up here. There's a wonderful beach here with uh, Lake McCamey at the top of the mountain. I did a video before on the campground here and it's got all my site recommendations, that stuff that I usually go to. It's gonna be linked in the video above. Yeah, it's an older video, it's not the greatest, but you know, that's, that's what we do. We make things better. And that's kind of part of the reason that I have this group and it's to help try to coach smaller channels. I'm still a smaller channel. We have a bunch of channels, large and small there, but this is just to uh, help each other out. So what I like about the Southeast Tennessee, North Georgia area is you have such diverse geography. I mean, there's mountains, there's lakes, there's, you know, all kinds of stuff you can camp on farms there's so many campgrounds around there's not a lot of dry camping in the area i've only found four or five spots within a two hour drive of here but i'm telling you that you can fit a camper in anyway i'm telling you that there's some great campgrounds especially on like recreation.gov because the national forest sites around here are just awesome so you know chilhowee here the biggest drawback to coming up here is that it's 6% grade on the mountain coming up. And I always thought it was like six miles. The sign says it's four miles. So it's a pretty good haul. And I actually burned my brakes up on my older half ton truck going down the mountain. So you gotta be real careful. You gotta make sure that you have an appropriate tow vehicle and that you're towing as safely as possible on the way up and on the way down. I'll say that there's not a lot of hairpin curves, but it is a steep mountain curvy road and you know there's just enough room for two cars so you just got to go slow and take your time and hope you don't meet somebody driving like an idiot as far as like swimming areas in southeast tennessee this has always been one of my favorites because the beach is nice and sandy there's some shade around it's a clear lake which i don't know if you've never been to southeast tennessee georgia the southeast area in general our lakes generally aren't that clear. They're all muddied up and stuff. And it's just a nice different experience up here. There are three to four overlooks on the road coming up here and they're really nice to pull over and look at, but you're gonna wanna do that when you don't have a camper, of course, because there's nowhere to pull off of on that road with a camper. So you gotta also know that. There's no like runaway truck ramps or any of that stuff up here. It's just a old curvy mountain road. The site's up here just like $20 a night, and that's full price. That's without even having the little discount cards, the America the Beautiful Pass that we talk about all the time. If you're just wanting to come up here for day use, a lot of people do that too. Today's actually the 4th of July. There are a ton of people over there right now. I'm probably going to take my daughter swimming over there in a few minutes. I'm probably going to regret it because there are so many people. We just drove through earlier, and there's cars lined up everywhere which this is a pretty visited area in the okoy mountains here but it's way over visited during a holiday 
I'll say the campground itself, it's not been too overrun with people. You hadn't even really noticed anybody unless you go out of the immediate campground over to the day use area where the beach is. So basically with this video, I just wanted to one, invite you guys to come check out the Facebook group. I'm going to leave a link in the comments here and we're going to make a video series, a playlist of all the videos where people kind of cooperate in this. If you're a channel, if you're not in the group, come on over to the group. I also, you don't have to be a member of the group, but feel free to uh, tell us what you think about the local camping community in your area. I'll also give a drawback to camping in Southeast Tennessee. Biggest drawback around here is the heat and humidity. Ooh, it gets hot in the summertime and it's all sweaty and yucky. I prefer to camp in the wintertime, but sadly, a lot of places around here are closed in the wintertime, even though we don't ever have that severe of a winter, but that's the way it goes. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're a channel, feel free to uh, submit a video into the group project here. You're just going to upload it to YouTube like normal, but just add the video to the playlist. The playlist is also going to have a link in the description below. And it's going to start off kind of slow, but I'm kind of hoping that a lot of people will share their experiences and give you one recommended campground in their area. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.